Yo, what's up guys? Cast and Blast back and I am excited to bring you Town Hall 10 content and the Hog game again. I'm having I'm having fun at Town Hall 10 again, guys. And I'll tell you what, hogs are still fun. Uh multiple ways of doing them. We're going to go over uh, my favorite way, um a kind of golem type way. And uh, later this week, I'm going to go over a couple of my other favorite Town Hall 10 attacks. Um, but right now, we're just focusing on hogs. And this war, we're playing one hive trinity. I'm pretty sure this was a random roll. Um, Might have been a fair. No, yeah, it was a random roll. Uh, but this attack was set up kind of by one of our players, Odin. And I apologize for the screen on this video, guys. So I had to tear down my recording studio. Um, I got new equipment, and I guess the settings didn't come out. I just noticed this on editing, uh, but the settings in this video and the next one just were pretty subpar. Um, so I highly apologize. This will be the only video like it, but the, it's the only way I save these recordings. So, um, But as you can see, this is kind of a queen walk hog method. And in my CC, I bring hogs. So... Uh, Odin first ran this, uh, tried walking the queen down here. The walk went pretty well. It kind of hogs fizzled out. Uh, there was a couple hangups. So, I, you know, I thought if I was going hog heavy, you know, bring hogs in the CC, take those extra hogs. And instead of bullers in the CC or no, he used giants. I, you know, I didn't mind giants. Giants you're using because of the single set infernos and they work very well as long as you're not running them into splash defense. You know, the giants are a lot better than a golem in certain cases. Uh, so instead of just bringing giants in the CC, I thought hogs, you know, giants are there to tank and die. Hogs are there to clean the base. So I brought hogs and you'll watch this breakdown here. Um, but I liked it a lot. You check out the CC radius, see where the queen is. And my goal is with my kill squad, I want to take my queen and look at how many freaking defenses are on that wall, right? If you can get your queen to walk down and take out a lot of those defenses, the enemy queen sitting here, there's one inferno and the CC radius, which I showed you, you can set a jump and you can get all of those things at once, getting the CC, the queen and in town hall 10's case an inferno down. That's your goal with your kill squad, right? That's what I've always told you guys. That's the goal of any kill squad going into town hall 10. And then you better be able to back up the rest of the base. Um, but with this, I figured if that queen comes down, takes out a cannon, a uh, whiz tower, you know, archer tower, archer tower, another cannon, and that Inferno, holy crap, that's a lot of value. Um, so I watched Odin do it and kind of just try to redo his attacks with a few tweaks. And uh, it worked out beautifully. So you get that queen in, you know, uh, spacing. Those archers came to take out that building. And just with a couple, what I use, like three or four archers there, I already cleared out that funnel. So now if the queen even steps up here, she's going to walk at walk down that line right so you gotta clear a funnel you gotta get the queen walking where you want and sometimes in bases you just the queen's gonna go you know random number generator different ways sometimes uh, but you kind of want to give her the best shot of going where you want her to go so she steps up she takes that archer tower out she takes that whiz tower out now on the back side i'm throwing in some heavy amount of troops to clear out my next funnel um, because i want my giants bowlers and everything coming right up that gut as the queen's meeting them i bring my king my bowlers, my giants right up there, and I throw the jump down. So that jump's going to give me now access to the inferno compartment, and the enemy queen's going to step up, and she's going to get blasted. So all I have to do now is throw down my poison. I'm not sure if I'm meant to throw down two. I usually only try to throw down one unless I know for sure all the witches are going to give me a headache. Um... But two came out either way. I always try to save one for the back end. So here comes my hogs. My first heal is going to go over that whiz tower. Remember splash defense or splash is your enemy with hogs. So it takes out that whiz tower and it overlaps that giant bomb. 
Um, now in comes my hogs on the next Inferno. It's a single set Inferno and a giant bomb. A lot of people put giant bombs by the Infernos because they already matic automatically know your troops are going there. So you just got to know you're probably going to have to uh, heal that Inferno. I throw that next heal. There's some Teslas pop up. And what do you know? I get another giant bomb. Not a problem. My hogs more than enough health and more than enough hogs. Holy crap, do I got more than enough hogs. I still got a king at full health. I still got bowlers. I got whiz. I already threw him to clean up, and every single defense is down, guys. Wrap this up. Ball game. Pack your bags. Go home. It's over. I mean, it's just a fun attack, and when things go right, they go right. When things go wrong, they go massively wrong, though. You know, there's there's not a a lot of wiggle room in this, but it's a, a very fun attack and um, use it in farming, you know, practice it, throw it down on some teammates, figure out the best way. You know, the queen walks pretty pivotal, but figure out the best way of using it. After I saw it work very well, I just started taking it out into the into the wild, into the general public and throwing it down in randoms. And it's been a lot of fun. So Cass just threw down a three-star uh, Town Hall 10. What should I do? Probably pack up ball game. I did my job. Uh, got my Town Hall 10 three-star. Uh, war still going on, though. Took a look around. I said, hey, let's re-roll this attack again. That was a lot of fun. You know, that plan was laid out. Let's just throw it down on this base. I think I can build an easy plan. There wasn't a lot of time left in war. You know, this isn't a full maxed-out defense base. So, um... If that attack worked so well the last time, let's try it here. So I throw it down, and what do you know? I leave with a six-pack, right? We're going home with the win with the six-pack. So I take a look. There is a lot of Wiz Tower and Infernos over here. Maybe that's a good place to attack. And with a simple jump, I think I can get down that queen and that king. So I bring in my archers. They have enough damage distance to not get hit by that mortar there and then I pop down my queen as my queen walks to the other side I throw in my healers um, the one thing I did a very very quick scout I thought she would shoot here and kind of walk away and not get in that inferno line and I was a little bit afraid of that inferno when I did my pre-scout unfortunately she gets in that inferno line um, but you kind of want to keep her away from that so in pops up a Tesla bonus. I get down a whiz tower and a Tesla. Thank you, cow on a farm, for making the base that way. Um, so she's kind of walking away. I'm still staying away from that Tesla line perfectly, and I'm happy about that. And what? Why couldn't she walk one more foot to shoot down that? So now I got to waste her ability because she's getting hit by that stupid Tesla or the Inferno Tower. Um, so in, I already cut the funnel wide. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw, saw that initial cut, but map out where that mortar is. And anytime you can collect, Buller's going to double bounce. Um, but anytime you can collect extra buildings, take them. Buller double bounce, whiz, take that away. The Buller Double Bounce, guys, use that as much as you can to clear out outside buildings. Um, but Wiz Tower clearing them before that mortar starts shooting, or sorry, Wiz clearing it before that mortar starts shooting. You know, take those advantages, get those easy funnels. And I thought I had funneled so well that nothing would walk away, but I didn't set that jump down soon enough. So what does my king do? He comes over here and goes, nah, screw it. I'll start walking around. You get that jump down before your troops take a look around a base a different way. So uh, kind of messed up there. But now he sees everything going down on the inside and he turns and pops around. So not a big deal, but those small things can bite you, bite you. If you don't get them right, uh, my troops come inside and they're doing damage. My king and queen are just ripping apart his heroes. His heroes down. Next whiz tower down. Inferno tower down. CC down. Ball game. Let's go with those hogs. So 
put in my hogs. I'm throwing that first heal down on the bomb tower because it's going to blow up, obviously, and hurt my hogs. Um, I'm going to throw my next heal down right past that inferno. And what do you know? What did I say last round? Oh, uh, does a giant bomb sit right next to an inferno? Oh, let's be original. So <laughs> throw it down right by that inferno. And then I only had one whiz tower left, so I can throw my next heal down there. What do you know? A silly little outside Tesla farm that everyone in the world uses, so you know they're going to be there. And I still have a queen left. I have whiz. I already set down on the outside. And I have a buttload of hogs. So the things I messed up, which were big, I didn't get that king down in time, right? And my king went to the outside. Also, when I set down my troops uh, and I brought in my giants, I started clicking really fast. I brought in one giant. There's still five in the bank. So all these pretty big mistakes, huge mistakes, and I still take it down. When I got around this back side of the base here, I finally noticed I have a ton of giants still sitting in my bank and two wizards. Um, so I just throw in my giants. You know, they can help tank for those hogs a little bit. Um, but basically, that's... 25 30 ish troops that I wasted because I forgot I didn't even bring again um, and it just shows you this it's a good attack even using one giant up front basically nothing to tank with uh, my troops ate up this base I had more than enough hogs uh, I still had it my queen all those whiz everything just cleaning up the base and it worked out so this attack has been a lot of fun for me a lot of fun to use. Um, do you have to use healers and giants? Can you use just golems cast? Uh, yes, you can. You can mix it up. But a healed queen doing a long walk, taking out multiple defenses before you even start your kill squad is very beneficial. Very beneficial. If you can keep those healers up a while, I'm only taking four healers. I know a lot of guys swear they will only ever use five healers uh wc but some guys say that you know it's it's give and take uh five healers that's 14 more troops you got to decide where your money is going to be put where it counts uh four has been working for me right now this troop set and i'm having a lot of fun with it Tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and give it a whirl. I mean, there's a lot of other good attacks to use, you know, as far as Valks. Uh, I mean, even Bullers and Witches are still pretty good out there. So we're going to cover them all. Um, I hope you guys like it. Hope you appreciate it. If you got questions, always ask me, guys. It's amazing to be back. It's been way too long. And as always, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you guys next time.